Make sure to use code BANGLE at sign up on FanDuel for a $20 deposit bonus. And check out my second channel for other games coming up like Red Dead Redemption 2 and Call of Duty Black Ops 4. As well as my third channel with collaborations with some of your favorite YouTubers. Let's get into the video. What's going on guys? Bangle again here coming back at you with another video today back on Madden NFL 19 for Giants franchise. Of course with the beast that is Kyle Laletta. A couple of things before we hop into this game against the 1-1 one one Los Angeles Chargers in Los Angeles. People wanted me to start Patrick Mahomes for this game. Uh, which is ridiculous. Like, why would we do that? Why would we start Patrick Mahomes? He's like, oh, because he could be your new franchise quarterback. Look what Kyle did last episode. He was absolutely unbelievable. It makes no sense to do that. Other people wanted me to uh, play Patrick Mahomes in blowouts, but, like, it's so early into the season. Uh, we just are not going to put in Patrick Mahomes unless injury strikes Kyle Oletta and he goes down. Let's go ahead and take a look at his numbers so far. Kind of a rough start in game one, but last week he was exceptional. Seven touchdowns um, on the year, three interceptions, 65% um, pass completion percentage. It's a little redundant, 574 yards. Those numbers are ninth in the NFL in yards, third in touchdowns, fifth in passer rating. Are we really going to take him out just so we can put in Patrick Mahomes, who really probably has worse throwing stats despite the higher overall? The accuracy is just not there. And Patrick Mahomes last week was excellent. Or excuse me, Kyle Laletta was excellent. Patrick Mahomes is a backup. That's what he brings to the table right now. He's a backup quarterback. Kyle Laletta currently is the guy. Injury could happen, and that would suck. But for right now, I am team White Lightning. We got a 95 overall. There are no holes. People want me to trade Mahomes or Laletta to fill a hole on the team. You guys have seen the roster. There aren't any holes. This team is really, it's, it's honestly perfect. I don't know how you get much better. Live from Los Angeles. Let's go, team. Let's get after it. Let's get the win here today. Let's stay healthy on top of everything. Would love to finally be able to get some pressure on the quarterback. Um, doesn't look like it's going to happen already. As Phillip Rivers throws wide open in the flats. Honestly, not Philip Rivers. It was a lefty. I did, it was weird. Why did I say that? Who's their quarterback? I swear to God, it was a lefty. Hanson? Who are you? Not a real player, obviously. Over the middle. That's a great play. Darwin James in the box, jarring the ball loose from the strong grasp of Hunter Henry. Not strong enough this time. Going to bring up third down and four. Hanson dropping back. Gonna throw open for Travis Benjamin who holds on. What a tight window. Oh, wow, that's rough. Going deep. And pass is completed. Our defense was absolutely destroyed that drive. They just didn't show up at all. Hansen annihilated every coverage, beat every zone. That time it was Travis Benjamin. Travis Benjamin, not a good receiver. I don't care if you think Travis Benjamin is good, because he is not. The guy cannot catch chlamydia in a whorehouse, all right? Like, it's, he's very bad. Can't catch anything, yet he was the biggest playmaker on that drive next to the QB. Evan Ingram on the fade could be absolutely wide open here. And he is, and we can't get the ball off. Denzel Perryman on the blitz. Delivering the pressure. Huge, huge blitz there, and we missed a huge play. They didn't read the screen. Give me blocks. Saquon Barkley going to be just short. Uh, he's just too fast compared to our offensive lineman. Kind of had to spin back to try and create something, and we're going to have to punt. Oh, it's a screen. Totally misread that. And Melvin Gordon's going to keep going. I got to stop switching on. I'm just kind of diving and his sticking all over the place. Hanson, 7 for 8, 96 yards and touchdown. We got to stop that. Get pressure. Wide open is Travis Benjamin trying to rip the ball out with Jalen Mills. Can't quite do it. Uh, I don't even know what we can do. Clearly, the zone defense isn't working. I don't think man's going to be much better, but we're going to give it a shot. Melvin Gordon right up the middle. Right up the middle and wide open. 
Do we have a defense? What is going on this game? Oh, yeah, that's right. There was a patch today that I just downloaded. I bet that made all my sliders suck again. Hanson rolling out. And he's going to fight off Alex Espinoza. Down at the one. All right, so I've looked into the uh, patch notes, which were way, way too hard to find, by the way. Uh, and it was only ultimate team based. Love to see Franchise getting the love. As Hunter Henry finds the end zone this time. And the Chargers continue their run. 14-0. No points for the Giants. We'll get, we'll get there. Oh, Saquon broke a tackle. Need a little bit more speed there, and that's a huge gain. But still pretty good. Damar Jacobs wide open in the flat. We don't really go his way that often. But the second string tight end can be a decent option for us when we need him to be. Oh my god, man! Hold the block for a second, and we have a huge gain. Laletta fumbles to a four-man rush as our offensive line lets me down again. We are getting annihilated by the running game, but that's a fantastic play. Lorenzo Carter bringing back Melvin Gordon. Nice little loss there. LA going to settle for a field goal try, which uh, they will almost undoubtedly make. We see almost no missed field goals um, in franchise, and that one is no exception. 17-0 Chargers. As we got to figure this out. Just got to run the ball with Saquon. I mean, that's the only way we're not going to turn over the football, it seems. Because the offensive line, time and time again, is so embarrassingly terrible when they can't hold simple blocks for a few seconds. A play action results in a sack like 90% of the time, it seems. It's another, it's another fumble. Jesus. Christ, dude. Are you... F Kyle Aletta has got to be nearing the NFL record for fumbles all time. Yet, stuff like this happens. We finally get good coverage in man. The quarterback scrambles, and I, and for some reason, it doesn't let me lock on with a conservative tackle to wrap him up. And then he survives uh, that tackle. No fumble. Melvin Gordon gets it. Surprised he didn't bowl his way into the end zone. It just gets so frustrating. I know I already see it on all my franchise rebuilds with the all Madden default slider. Oh, you just suck. Stay simulating. It's like the game is a joke. It's a pump draw. Finally. Another field goal this time for LA. Looks like an old extra point nearly. 20 to nothing. This looks like an Alabama LSU score. A great block by DeMar Jacobs, but Trent Brown uh, allows a disengage there, and that automatic six turned into a loss. Evan Ingram wide open. That tight end slant, I love. Gotta hit Evan Ingram more often. Oh, DeMar Jacobs, there we go. The power from the tight end. Might have to keep going to him. That's Odell Beckham Jr. wide open. Loletta hits him in stride. Touchdown, we're on the board. That's what I'm talking about. It was Odell's 10th catch. It's game three, man. Should have had that in last game. He only had two catches. Two t or touchdown, though. Almost 100 yards. Pretty good game. That's so open. No one accounted for the running back. Thank God Melvin Gordon is pretending to be a ballerina in the middle of the field instead of getting the easy touchdown. He had one-on-one -on -one with a blocker on the left side in front of him. I feel like we pay so much for a fantastic defensive line only for them week in and week out to not have one pressure on a quarterback. And as we got, uh, what was that, Tyrell Williams inside. When's the last time you guys even saw a defensive lineman on this team even get a pressure? I mean, this just shows you about all Madden, man. We have a, like a, you know, 290 overall plus defensive ends. Do they even have a sack this year? Cameron Jordan might have one. Roman Pugh, I don't know about. Inside on the slant. 
Jalen Mills is torched. Tyrell Williams fighting, but they're going to call him down. Forward progress. 13 seconds remain. And that's a touchdown. Tyrell Williams again destroys Jalen Mills on the slant. Chargers are going to go up 27 to 7. Barkley, come on! I need you to start breaking some more tackles. We're down by 20. I need you to just bust one off. That's what I'm talking about. No, you got ankle tackled. Come on. It's a great lob ball, though. Keenan Allen drops it. I'm going to be sick. We're going to settle for the field goal try here. We got the wind. We should be able to drill this one. Perfect kick. Wind blows it back. And it is good. Down by 17 now. 27 to 10. I don't know what to tell you. I, re I really don't. Can't catch a break per usual, it seems. Even with a 95 overall team against an 80. Please stop him. Thank you. Thank you. LA should punt. Third and 20 after another sack. I don't really know what to do anymore. They just, we just don't have it. Uh, press the wrong button. I mean, that's that's just the truth of it. Odell was wide open over the middle, and uh, I press square. Please! Finally! Cam Jordan gets a sack. It only took sending our entire defensive front. The entire front seven was coming in there. Third and 15. Incomplete. We're going to get the football back. Third and five. We're going hey, Saquon Barkley handoff. Hey there. Oh, I don't know if he can hit that throw. We're going to try it. Laletta downfield for Beckham. Odell Beckham Jr. touchdown. What a throw from Kyle Laletta. 57 yards to the house. And we've somehow managed to get back within 10. Joey Bosa has three sacks. I don't know what DeMar Jacobs is doing at 80, number 84 in the left side there. That was questionable, but we're back in it. To the flat. Benjamin jumps out of bounds. And guess what? LA is going to punt again on fourth and eight. Come back again. Starting to look pretty real. Down 20 multiple times. Got a new returner out there. It'll be a familiar face for you guys. Morris. Dubos, and immediately the speed is noticeable. Third and six. Odell. How is that a pick six? I, I'm going to have to look at a replay of this one. So, they're playing off here. What kind of defense was this? Casey Hayward. Playing in a cover two there. I mean, you, you just gotta be kidding me at, the, at this point. Ball's right where it needs to be. And it's just, it's right through his hands, in a Casey Hayward's hands. This game is so bad sometimes. It's not even funny. It's so bad. Howard Russell also gonna turn a return kicks. And uh, along with Morris Dubose, it's just, it's way better than the 80 speed guys that the CPU is just like, yeah, you guys are great. According to who? Laletta on the run for Barkley. I don't think this game's over, but that pick six, that BS pick six really, really hurt. No way around it. It really, really hurt. Howard Russell, deep. Laletta hits him. Howard Russell, touchdown! Let's go, baby. Look at the people's elbow. <laughs> and uh, it's back within 10. We got about 10 minutes to play here in the fourth quarter. Defense got to step up. Let's play action. It's a bad one, too. And Jalen Mills is absolutely torched. Absolutely torched. Absolutely useless cornerback to have on the field. Tyrell Williams is looking like the best receiver of all time. 
It's another run. And it's stripped loose by Cameron Jordan and recovered by Cameron Jordan. He's running into the end zone. What are you doing? Oh my God. I didn't touch anything. That's a big stop. You know what? It was a bold play by Cameron Jordan. Did it, did it, was it a direct snap to the punter? Like, did it just go to his hand? Tell me I'm not seeing things. Hold on just a minute. That was a pretty fast snap there. That hair must have magical powers. I don't know what the hell that was. That's open. Oh, what a catch by Odell, too, but the throw from Kyle Aletta could not have been better. I think we got Evan Ingram. High point. That's a yikers. Second and goal. Evan Ingram is just not running his route. I mean, you at some point, you got to look at this. You'd be like, hey, we got some problems in our game. That's my reaction right there from number 58. I've been sacked six times. I accidentally called a timeout. This is a disaster. I'm throwing that ball. And it's a drop touchdown from McKay. Bringing up fourth and goal from the 18. Field goal doesn't help. We got to go for it. Um, I don't even know what the play is here. Got to take a shot to the end zone probably. And we're not going to. We took pressure, had to get rid of the ball. Dumped it to Saquon. It's just a... Uh, It's just, you know, they were breathing down my neck. He couldn't take a shot at the end zone because he couldn't get the ball that far. Third and eight. Please wrap up. Just wrap up. I'm going to call a timeout. I really wish I had the other one. The controller is spiking to the desk. It's never a good idea. It's one that I employ regularly, though, when I get frustrated. That's open. Uh... I wish that was a streak and not a deep post. One-on-one -on -one shot, and that is, uh, I'm not even sure what that was. Casey Hayward gets his second interception of the game. Another weird one, by the way. Another really weird one. That's going to be our first loss of the season. Had to happen at some point. Uh, but I don't know. Watch this, man. You got Keenan Allen throwing the ball. Is, is this just not weird to anybody else? It's just not nearly high enough. Keenan is just kind of jogging. This is a frustrating game to play, I'll tell you. And that is the ball game. This Hanson guy destroyed us. I hate him. Uh, Kyle had a decent game. Two interceptions. One was stupid. The other one still confuses me. Um, Saquon... Had a good game, 12 touches, 66 yards, no touchdowns, five and a half per carry. It's a good game because big yards per carry, couldn't feed him the ball because we were down by a lot the entire game. Odell had eight catches for 156 and two touchdowns. Didn't even realize he was uh, doing that. Ryan Ramchek allowed four sacks, because why not? Joey Bosa had four of them, two picks for Casey Hayward. Um, and then the Cam Jordan safety. This this will be a video for the ages right here. I can't I can't stay. I gotta go. Um the video's over. Take it easy. Yeah,